Hi, welcome back to Informatica tutorial. Uh, we will start with expression transformation in this class. In the last class, we have seen what is active and what is passive transformation. So, we'll see some examples of those in this class. We'll start with expression transformation. Uh, so, basically, the problem with the plane uh, load earlier, what we have done so far is we are taking a source and we are loading into the target without any transformation. So, what if we so we are taking a source and it is going to the source qualifier transformation and it is loading to the target earlier. So what if we want to change the data in some way? Uh, we want to add some columns or we want to trim some spaces. So there are uh, n number of columns here coming in uh, 1, 2, 3 to n and you are uh, you are uh, so far passing the masses to the target. So suppose I want to trim I want to apply a trim uh, function on this column. Uh, it is a string column. I want to convert this maybe a character column. I want to apply a two date function on this. And uh, I want to add my uh, one more column, uh, n plus one column here. I want to put my Informatica session name or some kind of identifier that uh, I am uh, to identify this record is loaded in the target by so and so session or so and so process. So all this uh, can be done uh, using a expression transformation. So Informatica is providing you a expression transformation to do this kind of a job. And so expression is basically uh, a passive transformation. It will not change the number of records going through it but it can enrich the data which is flowing through it by it can cleanse it can standardize it can uh, do a lot of uh, variety of things on uh, uh, the data flowing through it so let's see a, an example of uh, expression transformation let's do it and so to start with i will take a simple example I'll take employees table and then uh, apply some expression uh, expressions on that uh, functions on that to change the data or add a last update date or insert date into the target table as well as the session name uh, which uh, is loading this into the target table. So let's see how to do that. So I'm going to pull the employees source here and then I'm going to pull the employees target. So in the middle I want to put a expression transformation. So how do you do the transformation create? There are list of transformations which Informatica will give you here and you need to select expression from here exp underscore. So there is a naming convention when it comes to Informatica transformation. So you start normally expression with exp underscore. I'll say audit columns. So which means uh, that I'm uh, uh, adding some audit columns like uh, insert date uh, into the target table and uh, uh, I'll also add a session name uh, which is populating the session uh, which is loading this target table so this session name uh, I will add in the target table as well so for that I need to first uh, collect I need to first uh, get that information in the expression transformation so when you do this uh, you 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 connect you are just connecting all the input ports from source qualifier to expression so i'm going to add two more ports here one is a, a date uh, which is uh, i'll say update date insert update date insert update date i'll add in the target table as well so I, i'm going to make it a date column so you need to specify what kind of port this is so all these are called ports so there are 13 ports in this so this is an only output port because I'm generating the value here so how do I put the value here so there are some when you do this the ex this is called expression editor so you have lot of built-in functions here you can apply on the input data and uh, there are some character functions like substring trim and uh, to, there are uh, conversion functions like two date, two decimal, two float. There are data cleansing functions like uh, trim, l trim, r trim, in string, substring, and all that. And uh, date functions like uh, date div, get date part, last day. So all these functions are there. So I am not going to use any functions to start with. So th there are also some built-in variables uh, here. In this, I have something called sysdate. So this will give me, uh, so when you select here, uh, the what is the data type and precision and length will come here. So you know what uh, length and precision you need to give to your port 
so you always validate when you select something here so i am also selecting one more uh, uh, so normally the convention is to name the output port as o underscore so one more output port i will put here o underscore uh, session name so that is the session which is uh, populating this table so i will make it a string of 100 and when i select again when i open the expression editor i can choose one more variable built in variable dollar pm session name so it is string of 255 actually precision is 255 and uh, zero uh, scale is zero so i can put here 255 so i am done with uh, my expression transformation so i need to add these uh, two ports which i have uh, just added to the expression the same ports i want to add to the target table as well so alter table employees add column first column is uh, iu date insert update date so add iu update date basically as a date field and then i want to add one more column which is a uh, session name and this is varchar 2 of 255 so uh, i have added these two columns so i need to import the target table again uh, because the target table here was there already before we added these two columns and these two columns are not there these two ports are not there so I can import the target table again from the ODBC uh, connection so uh, so if I import employees again it will automatically so it will ask me the table already exists in the target designer what do you want to do I want to replace this so I want to save this and now I can see these two columns are there in the target so now I can add, I can do auto link to start with to from expression to the target I have done auto link. So the, let's see whether all the ports are connected or not. So two ports which I added because I have given as O underscore they are not added. So I am just uh, manually connecting them. Okay so I have connected them so I am going to save this and I am going to create a workflow to run this. So I have created a workflow, I have created a session to call this mapping which I just created. I have set our standard properties and then uh, source is my HR and target is my target and uh, so let's see uh, let's run this and see I am also checking the truncate target table option so let's run this and see what the data what is the data which comes into the target so this is my session which is running now so it loaded 107 record so let's uh, query the table and see how the data looks select star from employees in the target schema so that uh, has all the columns and two more additional columns if you observe the IU date uh, which is nothing but the sys date when this record is loaded and the session name uh, which is uh, the SM employee CXP that is the session name I have given here so the variable dollar PM session name has assigned that value to this one at the runtime so yeah in the next class we will see more uh, things what we can do using expression transformation thank you